what I've asked or what I'm going to be asking the panel to do is just to give them an uh, introduction of themselves, where they're from and what they're up to over the next 12 to 18 months in terms of projects or considerations. So whether it even be a social project, uh, such as schools, hospitals, or it's actually more of a transportation or whatever the case may be, let's hear a little bit about what they're looking at over the next 12 to 18 months to kind of see for the investors in the room and the merchant banks, uh, you can just stay quiet because we have this covered. So we'll be doing all the financing. So uh, you can leave and go and get a coffee. Um, but for the investors and other developers and procurement side, uh, you can see the insight of, uh, of the panel in terms of what they're looking at uh, over the next 12 to 18 months. Where you have a particular economic driver, like in the case of Bahamas with tourism, it drives other types of investment. In the case of Jamaica, uh, we also have tourism as a driver, but the government has decided to use logistics as one of the primary drivers of the growth strategy going forward. Now, as you might be aware, Jamaica sits right at the doorway of the Panama Canal. And as such, uh, when the canal is expanded in 2015, we will benefit tremendously from the additional cargo flows that will be coming through. So we are positioning um, Jamaica to take advantage of the, that cargo flow by creating uh, additional ports, expanding our, our existing ports. But it's not just about maritime traffic. We're also going after aviation traffic. We're also going after um, industrial activity. So that's when we speak of a logistics hub. We're establishing Jamaica, as we tend to call it, as a fourth node in the global supply chain. I don't think financing is really a problem. Um, I think there are a lot of investors out there that, are, uh, that, are feel, that feel confident about Cayman and um, its stability. But uh, like most of the Caribbean, uh, we have uh, sort of an expertise issue. And uh, we have to, we, right now we're looking at, the government is considering maybe setting up either a, a P3 or a, um, or a procurement office that can sort of manage all of these things and, um, and spearhead them as we, um, as we move forward. We spend an awful lot of, of monies uh, renting government space from the private sector. And that is one of the things that the Bahamas government is seriously looking into and in how we actually build office accommodations for the public service. Uh, we have on the drawing board, I think, um, a 200,000 square, 200, I think, square feet uh, building. We're seeking to build um, over uh, off of JFK, that's right down the road from the airport. Uh, we're looking to build a law school. Uh, we're looking to build um, another building for the Ministry of Finance. Uh, we're looking to build another building for the Ministry of Health. We're looking to build a, build, uh, a new hospital. Um, and that is just for the island of Nassau. Being new to it, our inexperience in the PPP process, we were warned by our mother country that it is a difficult process. It can be complicated, and they're right. Um, but we were able to go out and essentially hire some expertise from a legal and accounting um, process, and they were very helpful in taking us through it so far. Um, and so it's a good experience for us because we believe that a lot more projects that we will do in the BVI will entail the process of PPP since, as was quite rightly said this morning, and as a good prime minister said in his nice speech just a little while ago, um, we believe that our budgets cannot handle the level of uh, financing that we will need to do to do our projects. We're in the process of shifting our, um, our revenue stream and so on and our budget from a heavily weighted on financial services to more tourism that we want to do. Therefore, um, the onus is on us to do a lot more infrastructural work on roads, on airports, um, on our seaports, and, and so on. Our sewage and water demands will, will grow and increase. And so we, uh, we have to be prepared over the next five, ten years to raise some good capital to do all those things uh, in a small country that we are. And so we are very glad that we've gone through this first process of PPP, but we also appreciate the fact that banks like uh, CIBC, uh, First Caribbean, are interested in, and, and are showing interest 
and what we do in our small territories.